Emily Atak, Piers Morgan and Ellie Goulding were among the party bout celebrities spotted leaving the GQ Awards after party last night. Looking a little worse for wear, famous faces piled out onto the street outside swanky London venue 180 Strand after partying the night away. After stealing the show on the red carpet earlier in the evening, actress Emily, 31, was snapped clutching at the hand of her male companion. Keeping her eyes to the floor, the star also held tightly onto two goodie bags from the evening as she walked out of the venue in a long black dress. Her hair remained neatly styled as she kept her composure on the brief walk to a taxi across the road to whisk her off home. The same couldn't be said for other celebrities, who ditched their high-heeled shoes as they exited the Celebrity Pack Members Club. Among them was singer Ellie Goulding, who walked barefoot as she held the hand of husband and art dealer Casper Joplin. Clutching her new bag, the chart topper kept her head down to avoid the cameras as she hurried away in her silky purple dress. The crown star Emma Karin, who rose to fame playing Princess Diana in the drama, also opted to go shoeless as she hurried home with a friend. Meanwhile, Piers Morgan looked in high spirits as he left the Tate Modern, where the GQ Awards were held, to head to the party. The TV star, 56, celebrated an Ofcom win against Meghan Markle just hours before donning his suit and tie for the hot event hosted by Idris Elba. Pixie Lott was also spotted exiting the swanky venue alongside her beau Oliver Cheshire, looking a little worse for wear. The singer, 30, folded into the back of a black cab to be taken home as she left the venue at 3.30 a.m., having enjoyed the night until the end. Wearing a gold dress, which matching gold straps shoes and earrings, Pixie looked to be keeping her eyes closed for the journey home. Love Island host Laura Whitmore and footballer Gary Lineker were also among the faces seen striding through the London streets to head home. While Mahia Jamma turned heads after changing from a long black dress into a much shorter one to be more comfortable and the after party. The presenter, 27 caught the eye of admirers with a plunging neckline on the red carpet, looked equally stunning leaving the members club on London's Strand. Ed Sheeran turned heads on the red carpet, but appeared to skip out on the party after the event in favor of going home to wife Cherry Seaborn. Hottest night of the year? In its 24th year, the GQ Men of the Year Award celebrates the most deserving men and women in their respective fields, from acting to innovation. Last year was the first ever virtual GQ Men of the Year Awards, but at long last celebrities were able to come together in person for the 2021 ceremony. Winners from this year's event did not go home empty-handed either. As GQ confirmed they received a goodie bag worth more than £12,000 in celebration of all their achievements. Meanwhile, guests were fed by Claire Smith of Core, which has the only triple Michelin starred restaurant run by a female chef in the UK. This year, the magazine hired husband and wife Idris Elba and wife Sabrina Dow to host the star-studded ceremony. Organizers have promised the awards will celebrate those who have shaped the world's cultural landscape in style, entertainment and sport throughout 2021. In a joint statement the married couple said before the event, We are excited to host this year's GQ Men of the Year Awards 2021 in London. In their various ways, the GQ Men of the Year Award winners have kept all of our spirits up throughout one of the most difficult years and we are very much looking forward to celebrating with them, and hosting a great party. Nick Sargent, publisher.
Publishing Director of British GQ, said, After the unprecedented year we've had, I'm thrilled to announce the return of the GQ Men of the Year Awards for 2021 as a live event. Even though our virtual event last year was a huge success, it's exciting to be able to come together again in person to celebrate the incredible talent who best represent GQ and continue to push the boundaries on the world's cultural stage. It will be a night to remember, 